Neuralink is now looking for volunteers to receive its brain implants. The brain implant startup, co-founded by Elon Musk, has received approval from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration to conduct its first human trial. But there is more to this story than you can imagine. Will the human trials succeed? If it does, what does this mean for the future of humanity? Guys, a lot is about to happen, and you need to be ready. In this video, we will answer all the questions you may have about the Neuralink's human trials. First, let me tell you why this approval is so exciting. This is a significant milestone for Neuralink, as it means that it can start testing its brain-computer interface device on people with paralysis. The device at the center of this program is the N1Link brain-computer interface, a small implant inserted into the brain through a tiny hole in the skull. This device can record and stimulate neural activity and communicate wirelessly with external devices. This device could help them regain some control over their movements and communication by using their thoughts alone. The approval also indicates that the company has met some safety and ethical standards required by the FDA and an independent institutional review board. What this means in the real world is that we are stepping into a future where paralysis of any kind would not be final. It is a future where those in wheelchairs will be able to stand up and walk again. But it is even more. Those who are blind, deaf, or have other forms of disabilities will be able to regain full function of their sensory organs. Yes, this is going to be a miracle device, and it is all powered by technology. But not everyone is convinced. Experts have expressed skepticism and curiosity about Neuralink's technology and its potential applications. Some have questioned the feasibility and necessity of creating a general population device that could connect humans to supercomputers and artificial intelligence, as Elon Musk suggested. Others have pointed out the technical and ethical challenges that Neuralink will have to overcome, such as ensuring safety, durability, and compatibility of the device, as well as respecting the privacy, autonomy, and dignity of the users. However, some experts have also acknowledged the potential benefits of Neuralink's device for people with neurological disorders or disabilities and have welcomed the opportunity to learn more about the human brain and its interactions with technology. Before the human trial approval, Neuralink was conducting experiments on animals such as pigs and monkeys to test the functionality and reliability of its device. The company claimed that it was able to record and decode neural signals from the animals and enable them to play video games or control a computer cursor with their minds. However, these experiments also raised some concerns about the animal's welfare and the result's validity. Elon Musk has been very optimistic and enthusiastic about Neuralink's technology and its prospects. He has stated that the device could help treat various conditions such as blindness, deafness, depression, addiction, and memory loss. He also said that the device could eventually enable humans to achieve symbiosis with artificial intelligence and enhance their cognitive abilities. It would almost be like what we see in the movies, where humans merge perfectly with machines and make them superhumans. He has also claimed that the devices could allow humans to save and replay memories and back up their consciousness. But we are still a long way from this stage. Maybe we will one day get to the level of Neo in the Matrix movie, where he is immediately able to acquire skills uploaded directly to his brain. However, he has also admitted that the device is still in its early stages of development and that there are many unknowns and risks involved. The expected results of Neuralink's human trial are not very clear, as the company has not revealed many details about the study design, the number of participants, the location of the implant, or the outcome measures. However, based on the information available, it seems that the main goal of the trial is to evaluate the safety and functionality of the device for enabling people with paralysis to control a computer cursor or keyboard with their thoughts. The trial will involve a combination of at-home and in-person clinic visits over 18 months, and it will take six years to complete. So, we still have to wait for some years before everyone who needs this will be able to get it. But this is actually a good thing because the trial will also provide valuable data and feedback for Neuralink to improve its technology and explore other possible applications. What makes Neuralink different and interesting is the technique developed by the company to implant the N1Link into the brain. This is where the innovations and inventions shine. Now let me take you through the steps to implanting the Neuralink device and the possible problems that need to be overcome at every stage. Neuralink employs a sophisticated blend of technologies and methodologies to navigate the delicate landscape of the brain during implementation, with a primary focus on steering clear of blood vessels. High-resolution MRI scans are central to this process as they meticulously map the brain's structure and intricate network of blood vessels. 
to enhance clarity, fluorescent dye angiography is employed, injecting a dye into the bloodstream to illuminate blood vessels under specialized imaging equipment, providing an even more detailed visualization. During the actual surgery, Neuralink's custom-designed surgical robot takes center stage, leveraging the pre-surgical imaging data to orchestrate the precise insertion of electrode threads. To further enhance real-time precision, intraoperative optical coherence tomography technology provides live, high-resolution images of the brain tissue, enabling the robot to adjust its movements to carefully avoid blood vessels. The electrode design of the N1 link itself plays an important role in this delicate dance within the brain. Engineered to be flexible and thin, these threads navigate between blood vessels without causing damage. Constructed from biocompatible materials, the electrodes ensure safety during implementation within the brain. The deployment of advanced algorithms is a crucial component of Neuralink's strategy. Machine learning algorithms trained on extensive data sets of brain images accurately identify and map blood vessels. Integrated into the surgical robot software, these algorithms enable real-time responses, ensuring the avoidance of unforeseen blood vessels encountered during the procedure. Neuralink adopts a multimodal integration approach, combining various technologies such as imaging, robotics, and machine learning for a holistic and safer surgical experience. This integration affords precise, real-time control over electrode insertion, effectively minimizing the risk of blood vessel damage. In case you are wondering how to participate in this program, know that the window is very small and not many will be eligible. The plan is to enroll up to 10 patients with severe spinal cord injuries. These patients will have the N1 link implanted in the motor cortex, the brain region controlling movement. The trial aims to assess the device's safety and feasibility and determine if it can restore motor functions in these patients. The hope is that the N1 link will eventually assist individuals with various neurological disorders like Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, epilepsy, and depression. Neuralink also envisions the device enabling new forms of human-machine interaction, such as mind-controlling computers, smartphones, or robots. Patients will undergo a training program to learn device usage involving tasks like moving a cursor, playing a video game, or controlling a robotic arm. Requirements for participating in the trial include being 18 to 65 years old, having a spinal cord injury at least six months ago, having no history of neurological or psychiatric disorders, being willing to give informed consent, and having certain metal implants or devices in the body. On his platform X, Elon shared a thought-provoking idea. If we ever create a super smart computer, our current ways of communicating, like typing or talking, just wouldn't be fast enough. We'd need a direct, instant link from our brain to that AI. Right now, the only way we interact with AI systems is through input devices that require us to type or use voice input. What Elon Musk wants to achieve is to remove all intermediaries and give our brains direct access to AI systems. But it is a two-way system. Our brains would not only communicate with the AI-powered computer, but the computer would also be able to send information back to the brain. This seems like a dangerous idea, as a lock could go wrong. What if the computer takes over your brain? But it's exactly this process that Elon Musk also pointed out that could have helped someone like Stephen Hawking. Hawking, as we all know, was one of the most brilliant minds in history, but had significant limitations in communication due to his condition. Yet he made groundbreaking contributions to theoretical physics and cosmology. The reason why Musk mentions Hawking to underscore Neuralink's potential is because Neuralink technology promises to unlock this potential by providing a more direct and efficient means of communication, surpassing current alternatives like head mice or eye tracking systems. Such technologies, while innovative, don't offer the same seamless connection that Neuralink might provide. But it's not just about control. Neuralink's technology could help robots understand the world better. It's like giving robots a sixth sense. They might feel things or know what we want just by reading our minds. And there's more. Neuralink wants robots to be more like us. They're working on making fake muscles and nerves that our brains can control. Imagine a robot feeling and moving just like us. They're also thinking about giving robots senses like touch, taste, and smell. Think about a person in a robot suit walking again, or a worker telling a robot arm what to do just with thoughts. Even a soldier sends a robot to check dangerous places without being there. It's like a cool science fiction story coming to life. But here's the thing. Neuralink's idea is still young. It has some problems to solve, like making better BCIs that understand our brains more. 
The stuff they put in our heads needs to be small, not use too much power and not hurt us. And the computer needs to be secured from being hacked. Even with these challenges, Neuralink's idea is super exciting. If they figure it all out, there is an endless list of possibilities for what it can be used for. Keep an eye out for what is next by subscribing to the channel and giving us a thumbs up. See you next time.